Hello everyone, I am Farana D. Umar and I'm going to discuss about open channel, specifically the rectangular section. But before anything else, let me have a brief introduction about the formulas and equation that are actually usable in this chapter. So first we have the specific energy. We also have the cheesy formula in relation with our series back. And of course, we have the Cotter and Gangolet formula, Bazin formula, Powell equation, and of course, one of the most usable formula in this chapter is the money formula. Specifically, ito. So, without further ado, let us start exploring the formulas of the rectangular section. Now, here is the proportion for the most efficient rectangular section. So, in a rectangular channel, there is a huge possibility that we are being asked to find our area. So, the formula for our area is simply base times the height. Now, we also have our perimeter here, which is equal to 2B plus 2D. This is for the normal um this is for the normal rectangle or a closed rectangle. So since we are in an open channel, our perimeter now is p equals to b plus 2d. Since our figure looks like this and we only have 1b and our d is still 2. Now to derive the proportion for the most efficient sections, let us minimize our perimeter by deriving it with respect to D. Now we have B plus 2D where B is equal to A over D. Now since we derive it, we arrive to A all over D squared equals 2. Now we have A is equals to 2D squared. And we also have hydraulic ranges. In finding the hydraulic ranges, we have R, which represents the hydraulic ranges, is equal to area of a rectangle all over the perimeter of the rectangle, which is obviously we are just going to, um, we are only substituting the value of our A and our P. Now, according to the book of Gilisanya, 6th edition, um, this formula here is one of the most accurate formula that we can use to solve the most economical section, which is um, this Manning formula, where Q is equal to area times 1 all over the roughness times the hydraulic radius raised to 2 thirds times the slope raised to 1 half. And to deeply understand these formulas, let us try a sample problem where we could apply all of these formulas. Now here is our sample problem. A rectangular concrete channel 15 meter wide is to carry water at the rate of 22 cubic meter per second. If the channel slope is 0.00025, determine the normal depth of flow if the roughness is 0.013. So first, we're going to identify first our um, given. So we have here our um, our base, which is 15 meter. And we also have our rate, which is Q is equal to 22 cubic um, meter per second. We also have our slope which is 0 0.00025 and our roughness which is 0 0.013 now in this given it is so obvious that we can use the Manning formula to find our um, normal depth so our Manning formula is Q is equal to area times 1 all over n times r 
raised to two-thirds times slope raised to um, one-half. So since we have the value for our Q, let us check it. And our N and our S, we only have the area and the hydraulic ridges to be found. So first, let us find our area. So for the formula for the area is base times height. So we have the base is 15, but since we don't have our height, um, let us just copy the variable D, which represents our height. And next, we also have to find our R, which is area divide perimeter. So we already have our area, so let us find for our perimeter, which is the perimeter of an open channel rectangle is B plus 2D. Now our B is 15 and our D is not yet found. Now let us substitute our area and perimeter to find our hydraulic radius. And our area is 15D over the perimeter, which is 15 plus 2D. This is our perimeter. So since our givens are complete, um, let us substitute so that we can find our D. So we have 22 for the rate and our area, which is 15D times our roughness 1 all over 0 0.013 times our hydraulic radius which is um, 15d over 15 plus 2d raised to 2 thirds times our slope which is 0 0.00025 raised to 1 half so to find our d let us calculate and see our result. So we have here 22 is equal to 15x times 1 all over 0 0.013 times 15x all over 15 plus 2d raised to 2 thirds times 0 0.00025 raised to 1 half and calculate it then we have 1.187 meter for our D and here is our final answer